be creating a uh, URL shop application using BAM, Magisium, Tasso, and HTMX. So this is a simple application of what we are going to be building in this tutorial. Alright, cool. So let's start by creating uh, an application using BAM. Let's see into the directory and open the code in VS Code. Okay, so let's install some few dependencies. We're going to start by installing static. Then we need also an HTML plugin. Let's go back to VS Code and import these plugins. All right. So now let's import this and use those plugins. Okay, now let's listen on port 3000. Then create three more endpoints. The first one will be for retaining our index.html file, which doesn't exist yet. Yet we're going to create it later. So now we're just going to create a new response and use bank file to return that HTML, HTML file. Then the next endpoint we're going to create a post endpoint, which will be used to shorten our URL. So we're going to pass the URL in the body and insert that into the db and let's also type the body make sure that we are getting the right parameters from from the body this will be a string so for now we're going to return a dummy data which is going to return a string we'll come back later and modify this Then the next one will be the get endpoint, which you are going to pass the ID of the URL that we received in the DB. And we're going to use that ID to retrieve the URL from the DB. So for now, we're just going to return a dummy text here. All right. Now let's go into our source directory and create an index.html file. So we need to use this dummy file for now. We'll come back and modify this data as well. Okay, now we're just going to create a display the header with the application name. And let's test this out and see if it works. It looks like we're missing the public directory uh, because it's required by the HTML plugin. Let's go to VS Code and create the public directory. Up and running let's open the browser and see if it works all right okay we get our, our dummy or our application name here let's go back to VS Code and change the code so i've created this code already so the first thing we're installing is the ui second one is htmx third one is tailwind we're going to use tailwind for as a as our css library So we have uh, a simple UI here. Uh, we have a form and form which has an input and button. Then when you submit the form, it's going to call use the post and call our backend and it's going to target the section ID section with the ID results. And it's going to use the swap to swap the data out. So this is how, this is how it looks. Then this section will be written by the backend. Let's just preview it and see how it's gonna look. So the backend will, will append them, them the URL from the database here. Let's refresh and this is how it's gonna look. All right, simple. Let's repeat everything back. Okay, now let's go to our backend and create a new directory called DB. Inside here, we're going to create our client. So we first need to create the index, then our schema. 
then we need to install drizzle so we we'll use drizzle to connect to our tasso db okay let's copy and paste that client here we're going to need the url and the token we'll create those one later so now let's export the db then create an env file we're going to save our db token and db url Let's open our terminal and run Tasso to create our DB. First, we need to log in. If you're not logged in, then we create and then create the DB. So now let's get our URL by running the show command. This is our URL. Let's copy that and paste it into our env file. Let's get the let's create the token using the create command. Okay, this is our token. Let's copy it and paste it into our env file as well. Then we need to go back and use those variables. So we're going to run say process the, the env the db url. Then process the env the db token. Okay, now let's go back to our schema. So this is our simple schema. We have an ID, the URL of the, the URL that we're going to save in the DB and the URL ID. So we're going to use the URL ID to query the database. All right, let's go back to our server and modify this to use our DB. We're going to get the URL from the body. Let's get it from here. Then the next step is to check if it does exist. If it doesn't, then we're going to throw an error. Okay. So um, we need, I think we need, um, and uid so let's install nano id so we're going to use nano id to generate our user our url id so let's import it there go come here url id is equals to nano id this will generate an id a unique id then we don't need a response we can just say await db dot insert Then we're going to import our table. Now let's import our DB first. Then we need to import our table here. Then we're going to save values. Then we're going to pass the URL and the URL ID. Okay, so we need to make this a sync. Let's add it there. And we need to return the HTML to our front end. So we're just going to return this. Then we need to append the URL here. So we're going to return the URL and specify the, the URL ID here. Okay, so it's going to be shortened and then forward slash then the URL ID. Okay, so let's modify the, the last endpoint. We're going to get the ID from the path from params. Then we also need the set, which we're going to set the redirect. 
and then here again we need to check if the id exists um, i think we need to check the url let's make this sync then we're going to query our db for the url using the url id using the id from from the parameters then we're going to say from then we're going to pass our table Then we're going to specify the word loss. Then we need to check if the ID is equal to the URL ID. So we're going to say our table dot URL is equals to the ID. Then we're going to get the, the URL. If it doesn't exist, we're going to throw an error. So let's import it. EQ from Drizzle um, ORM. Now, if it does exist, we're going to redirect. So we're going to redirect to the, the original URL that was saved into our DB. Yeah, I think we need to check the URL ID here because we are using the ID of the URL. That's it. So let's start the server and test the application. Let's go back to the browser. Let's refresh. Let's open the dev tools and go to the network tab. Let's paste a um, simple URL in here and test. Okay, we're getting a 500 and let's open the terminal and see why we're getting 500 okay seems like the table doesn't exist so we need to push the table to a tassel db to tassel so we're missing um better sql3 let's install it so now we need to create a, a drizzle config Let's use uh, the TS here. So this is a simple config. I'm just going to paste it in here. Uh, it uses our schema and we specify the driver as Tasso. Now we can push it to Tasso. All right, now that is applied, let's see if it's running. Okay, it does run. Let's go back and test it out. Okay, it works. And you see the, the URL there. So the copy doesn't work yet. Uh, let's just copy the URL key and open a new tab. Okay, it works. Now let's create a simple script that we use to um, copy the text to our clipboard. I'm going to create, create a new file here and copy.js and paste this code. All right, yeah, it's going to use the ID to get the text. All right, so let's import the script. So in this server, we have um, uh, x, x on click. On click, we're going to copy to call the copy text function. We're just going to copy the text to our clipboard. Let's refresh and test it out. Right now, if we copy, it's going to copy our text. Right, it works. And now let's try to uh, deploy application to fly. Let's run fly launch. Uh, it doesn't detect our application. It thinks our application is Node.js. Let's go back to plugs.json file, change this uh, copy this as well. Let's go up and change this to main. All right, let's try again. Fly launch, it works now. Let's give our application a name.
it. So now we can run fly deploy. So the process is going to take a um, few minutes. I'm just going to speed up the video from here. Okay, the installation is done. Now let's go and see if it works. Yes. Run. Okay, still uses our local host. Let's go back to VS Code and change it to use our fly IO URL. Okay, let's deploy again. It's done. Let's refresh. Let's test it out. Okay, it's working. Let's copy the URL. All right, cool. It's working. Okay, so you can also view the tables on Tasso by going to Tasso. Now let's log in. Then go to databases and select our database. All right, so this is our shortener table with all the data that we've been saving earlier. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.